What is under Fregredosfjell volcano in uh, Iceland? This uh, uh, volcanic eruption in Iceland recently has uh, fascinated a lot of people. People are just going to see it. There is not much information about it. We, we see more lava flowing and videos of like, the, that nature. But uh, we should know that uh, Iceland is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, it, on top of what we call as a mid-Atlantic reach. That's where the uh, crust of the Earth is extending from both sides, and that extension causes the lava to rise up and melt, and uh, the magma rise up and melt. The thickness of the crust at that point that the volcano is to the right, uh, to the left side of the center here in the pink area is actually the thinnest part. And that's what we expect. It's not a hot uh, mantle plume, as some speculate about it. Those are really, you know, uh, they're very arbitrary, the temperature assignments to these uh, areas. We don't have mantle plume here also because we don't have volcano, uh, uh, Hawaiian uh, style volcanic island chains. Island chains are like a torch, welding torch, under a moving belt of the conveyor belt kind of metal. And that leaves the scars. As the metal moves, it leaves the scars. And these scars are the islands that we see. We don't have such a thing in the case of Iceland. We don't see those kind of island chains, sea mounts in the Iceland. It's more like what we call as ophiolite sequence. Ophiolite forms actually in the uh, extent, uh, extending uh, mid, uh, mid uh, oceanic ridges. We have a lot of them on the crust of the Earth. When they are exposed at the crust of the Earth, in many locations, of course, Cyprus and Oman and Iran and Turkey and Yugoslavia, they're very famous there. We have in Britain also. They have a layers, layer of basalt or layered gabbro. Then we have dikes which lead the uh, magma. Then when they're exposed to the seawater, they form what we call as pillow lava. And the uh, pillow lava in the top of the picture, you can see the image. The dikes also, you can see them here. Dikes are the wall kind of a structure or sheet-like structure that actually carry the, like conduit, carry the, from the depth, the magma to the surface. When they reach the seawater, they form this structure which is called pillow lava. And pillow lavas are famous. Uh, we have them uh, in many locations, including this one, which is in Cyprus, uh, Mount Trudos. And uh, there, when they come in contact, you can see the contact surface is a little bit, you know, uh, we call it final or uh, crystalline structure. And we have it in Britain also, in Cornwall, in the Lizard Point. There are experts that so this is, you can see the whole sequence, actually. The mantle to the Moho area, and then the um, Gabro and uh, pillow lavas, everything is visible. In Iceland, we have this sequence. If it reaches the sea, the lava reaches the sea, we will see also pillow lava forming there.